Hey everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube and it's completely free to subscribe. You won't want to miss out on any of the cool crafts we have coming, so I hope you will consider subscribing if you haven't already. Today's video, we're going to do something really cool that I've been seeing trending a lot on the internet, and it is these cool color glowy shirts that you can write on. So what's really cool about these is they're very easy to do. You just need some glow in the dark vinyl, HTV, and then you'll just need a UV light. So I've got two options that I really liked. I have a UV keychain and then a UV pen as well. All of these are from Amazon. I'm gonna link everything that we're using down below for this, but this is really easy. You don't even really need a Cricut to do this. You just need some scissors and some HTV and you'll be good to go. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use your Cricut, but just keep in mind, you could just cut a square and that would be just as fun too for kids. So if you don't have a Cricut, this is still something that you can do. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. To make this, we're going to use a unicorn silhouette. So I'm just using Google to find the silhouette of a unicorn that I like. I want something pretty solid because I want to make sure there's enough room for them to draw on it with the marker, but you don't have to do a shape. You could just do a square. You could do cut by hand, whatever you want to do. So it's really up to you and how you want to do it, but choose whatever design you want to use for this. It's There's no right or wrong way. I'm going to use this unicorn silhouette. So what I'm going to do is right click on it and click save image as, and then I'm going to save it into my Cricut folder. And I'll probably just save it in the main folder because I really don't know what I would put this under. So I'm just gonna call it Unicorn. Let's head over to Cricut Design Space so I can show you how to upload it. Over in Cricut Design Space, click Upload and then click Upload Image. All you're gonna need to do now is click Browse and find where you saved that image. So I saved it in my Cricut folder and then I just called it Unicorn. So it'll be down here a little bit. And he's right here. So go ahead and select that image. And you'll see this one already has the checkered background because it was a PNG with a transparent background. I'm still going to click complex for it and click continue. Now I shouldn't need to do anything here, but what I am going to do is click preview cut image just to make sure that the edges don't look really, really messy or anything. They look fine, so we'll go ahead and apply and continue. We want to save them as a cut image, so choose the one on the left and click upload. Then select them from your recent uploads and add to canvas. Once it's in your canvas, you can size it to the size of the shirt that you are making. We're using a youth shirt in the size large. So for something like this, I don't want to go too, too big. So I think what I'll do is go about seven inches wide, maybe a little bit more. And that should be plenty of space for them to draw and play with this unicorn. Now, because we're using HTV, if you want the unicorn to face a certain direction, you will want to flip it either way. It's really up to you, but we have quite a bit of extra HTV, so we can add their name as well if you'd like to put their name under this and they can draw on their name. It's really up to you and how you want to do this, but I think we'll go ahead and add a name and let's do Sophia. Now with this, you can do any font that you want, any style that you want, it's really up to you. You could even use a different kind of HTV, but I'd like to keep it in the Glow family just for fun. So let's just find a font that is kind of cute. I think that one works. This one's one of my favorite is Birthday Balloons. I think this one always ends up looking pretty cute with just about any design that you're doing. Now again, we're gonna do this in the same vinyl, so I'm gonna change the color of Sophia to black so that it's the same color as our unicorn. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna select her name and the unicorn here, and I'm gonna align them, and I just wanna center them so that they look nice and neat and centered. Once I have that, I can move the name up a little bit if I want to. I can really do pretty much anything that I want to do with this, it's really up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it all, and now I'm gonna attach. The reason I'm attaching is so that nothing moves and everything stays in the exact same area that I have it. Because I've got Sophia centered and I'm gonna cut them on the same vinyl, we can just keep them together by using attach. Now, I prefer to flip my design on my canvas rather than mirroring on the other page. The reason I do this is number one, it helps me not forget to mirror. And number two, sometimes Cricut has problems with turning that mirror feature on. 
So I just prefer to do it here. I just flip it horizontal and you'll see now that it is mirrored. Now all we have to do is click make it. And I'm gonna show you guys a really quick place that you can look for some cut settings. At 143vinyl.com, if you look over here into the show menu, click on that and just go to cutter settings. Then you can click on this material cutter and press settings option. And what I love about this is that it not only gives you the settings to cut your vinyl, but also to press it. So you'll find everything that you need right here. The first couple pages are adhesive vinyl, but if you scroll down, you'll get to their heat transfer vinyl. And we're looking for the Caesar Glow in the Dark, which is right here. This cuts on the everyday iron on setting. And then if you go over here, it tells you the time and temperature. So 305 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. And this is a medium cold or uh, this is a medium pressure and a cold or hot peel. So very, very easy to press this. So let's go ahead and get ready to cut it out. I'll show you guys how to choose that setting. Because we're using the Maker 3, choose on mat and click done. Then what you'll see here is your design on your mat. Now I do always just double check to make sure that it is in fact mirrored in this case because I did flip it, but I always double check. Then click continue and this is where you're going to choose your cut setting. Now you can do this on any of the machines, the crickets, the silhouettes, the solo, anything. So this is a really easy project that you can do since it's just one single color of HTV. Now, like it said, we're gonna cut it on the everyday iron on setting. So we're just gonna select that. I'll take you guys over to the machine and show you how to load this, how to know that it's glow in the dark, and then how to press this on to your shirt. So I've got here a sheet of HTV and I will give you this, the glow in the dark looks just like white. But a lot of people ask, how do I tell the difference between white and the glow in the dark? Just grab your cell phone, take your light, set it on top, and it might take a second, but it will glow with the light. So you can just kind of set your light on there and it might glow better on the adhesive side, but it will glow if it is glow in the dark. It's a little bit hard to see, but this does glow in the dark. So just keep that in mind. That's how you can kind of tell there's a little dot right there. So easy peasy is that to find out if it's glow in the dark. So what I'm going to do is use this. This is just a scrap piece and I'm going to cut this on my Cricut and we're gonna make that unicorn shape with our little name on it. So what you wanna do is you can see there's a shiny side and then a much more dull side. You wanna put the dull side up, the shiny side down. And when I do this, I just wanna make sure that I've got this lined up pretty well on my mat. Like I said, I'm using a scrap piece, so it isn't exactly straight, but this is good. This will work just fine for what we're doing. Let me go ahead and open my machine. Now again, I am using the Maker 3, so it does tend to take a little bit longer. So what you'll do is you'll press the button, and the first thing that it does is it measures your mat, so that takes a little bit longer. And then, once it's done measuring your mat, you can hit the Go button and it will check your tool and cut everything out for you. Now that we're ready to press, we're gonna grab our shirt. So we're just using a youth large long sleeve shirt. And what I'm gonna do is lay this down onto my heat press. Now I do have a pressing pillow under this here. And then we also have our Teflon sheet held on with magnets. Always have something between your press and your HTV. And then what I'm gonna do is use the sleeves here as our centering point for our design, so we have our design here. What I like to do is I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna use the name kind of as our center point. So I just crease my design in half, and then I just kind of use that and the sleeves to center my design. And then you wanna go just a few fingers down from the collar. That looks good and straight. So what we're gonna do is press this between 10 to 15 seconds with medium pressure. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this up. And then this is again, warm or cold peel. I like to warm peel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that off. Our shirt is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool. And then I'm gonna take you guys into a dark room to show you this working. It's really, really fun. So here's the finished shirt. 
I think it came out really cute. But what's really fun about it is what we can do with some different UV products. So I have a UV pen, and this is just like a pen. Nothing crazy exciting about it. But then we also have a little UV keychain. So we can do both of these, and I'll show you the difference and what they look like. Let me turn off the light and I can show you guys. So you really probably can't see it right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and use our UV um, keychain first and you can write on it. Like, how fun is that? You can kind of draw little lines and do all these little fun lines all over it. So I'll take, let you guys take a look at that. So that's really cool. But then we also have the pen. The pen's gonna leave a much bigger line. So you're actually able to fill it in more. So it's really up to you which one you wanna do, but you can see I can fill that in a lot more by using the pen. And I just think this is super fun. So you can really do these with any shapes, words, whatever you really want to, to do with them. And then the kids can just have a good time. You don't even have to cut it with your Cricut. You can hand cut just a square out, whatever you want to do. Press it to any shirt that you would like to. And you have these really fun designs that you can make. So I hope you guys had fun checking out how to make these. I thought this was super duper fun. I really love them and I can't wait to give these as some gifts. But these UV design shirts are great. They are a huge hit. They're very trendy right now. Kids are going crazy for them. You can get the UV light and the UV pen on Amazon. I will link them down below for you guys so that you can find all the products that we used. Again, this is just Caesar Glow in the Dark. You can see the slower I write, the brighter the line is. And this is just so fun. And I really am having a blast with these, so I can't wait to see the kids' faces when they get these. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, happy crafting.